Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.2. Now we're currently on the second beta of iOS 18.2 and of course expecting a new beta really, really soon. Now this update is actually amazing. We have done like three videos on beta 2 and we keep still like discovering new amazing features and changes that Apple has added to this update and also we have to talk about the performance that this update is giving here on the iPhone 15 Pro Max it's actually amazing and it's still just beta 2 so we have a long way to go and it should be even better now first of all let's talk about some new features and changes that we have been able to actually discover with the new iOS 18 beta 2 and first of all right here on the photos app you might have noticed this on iOS 18.2 when you're playing a video it will actually loop the video it doesn't stop or pause it just loops the video which I think is pretty cool I'm not sure this might be even on iOS 18.1 as well so it's a great feature but what's new here is a setting that now you will be able to actually find on the photo section on the setting app so head on to your settings app and then go under apps go to photos and then right here you will find loop videos so you saw that feature there that can actually be enabled or disabled directly from here so if you don't want to have the looping on the videos you can just go ahead and simply turn it off from here Next up, we're talking about notifications and specifically for the mail app. As you probably know, the mail app is totally different with 18.2. Apple has done an amazing job with the categorization that they have done on the mail app. I really love the new app is actually much, much easier to use and much, much easier, of course, to filter your emails and find the things that actually you need. So we have also new settings here, as I said, for the notifications of the, of the mail app. So head on to your settings go under notifications and find mail here now what you will be able to do here is just scroll down and you can go to customize notifications this is a new feature which basically will be only on ios 18.2 so what you can do here is show badges for your primary unread messages or all read messages so if you just want to see the primary badges you can do that from here or if you want to see all the mail then you can just go ahead and select all the unread messages by default it will be primary unread messages now here's another really cool feature that has to do with chat gpt and of course its integration with siri on ios 18.2 so if i try to send a screenshot to chat gpt from here and if I do that from Safari, you will notice a difference there. So let's just try it out. Send this screenshot to ChatGPT. Do you want me to send the screenshot to ChatGPT? And this is what you will see basically when you're trying to do it from the home screen. You can send it, you can cancel it. Of course, you can take a peek here at whatever it is on that screenshot. But when you go okay. to Safari, you will have a different result. As I said, if I try to do this on Safari when I'm on a web page, I will have a different result and I will have two different options in order to do this. So let's just try it out. Chat GPT, describe this screen. Do you want me to send this and as you can see right there, I can go ahead and choose screenshot, which basically will send a screenshot to chat GPT from here, or if I just tap right there, I can switch to full content, which means that it will actually send the full web page to chat GDP and GPT. And you can see right there is a full page as a PDF file. So of course you can go ahead and preview it, or you can just remove it from there. And then you can go ahead and use chat GPT to answer that if you want to, or you can just go ahead and even search the web from there. And we also have now new shortcuts on the shortcuts app for fitness. So you will have a few here. So we have one to open the fitness settings. That probably will be very useful for a lot of people. You will have a way to quickly go to the fitness setting. Then of course you can go ahead and open the awards. Any awards that you have, you can view them from here and open the sessions history as well. And then you can also open your tro trophy case. So actually a very useful shortcuts that Apple has added for the fitness app. If you of course use the fitness on your iPhone, maybe even with your Apple watch, these will actually be very, very useful. 
And one thing that has been improved a lot with iOS 18.2 beta 2 is image one, it actually works really, really well. So if you just draw something, you will notice that it actually works much, much better than it used to work with the first beta. So if we just try to like, do something here like a small house we can just go ahead and use image one to actually turn this into an image it's actually very very useful so you can go ahead and add different words here of course add like different images different sketches that you make and you will see the results are always better than they used to be with the first beta so if you like this feature and you need it it will actually be much much better than the first beta of iOS 18.2. So it's actually done a lot of improvements. And of course, these are huge features, which will require a lot of work. They all still on beta. So of course, you can expect them to be improved with every new release that Apple does. Now, something that I really like about the second beta of iOS 18.2 is that Apple has added dark mode to the settings icons. But what they really done that I really love is that these also feature the tint color of the icons that you have on the home screen. So whether you're using the dark mode or the light mode, when you have tinted icons, they will also show here on the settings app, which I think are really, really cool. You will notice here, everything is now tinted just this one right here it's still not so the apps section but when you go here of course you will have your apps which are tinted as well but i really love this change that apple has done here and you can see right here when you go into a few sections some of them are still not actually tinted but you will find a ton of them here that are tinted in the main like pages of the settings app and also car motion cues this feature that has been added to ios 18 i talked about this on the previous video it does show now as a live activity it also will show on your dynamic island and it looks like this it's actually pretty awesome to have it on the dynamic island i think that's more useful and of course having it also on the live activity on the lock screen is actually pretty awesome now, probably the one of the biggest highlights of these updates that Apple has been recently releasing is their performance. They are actually very, very stable. Even though their big updates in iOS 18.1 and also 18.2 brought a lot of new features, especially the Apple intelligence features, they're actually really good, even though they're still on their early beta stages. And you can see right here, this is a Geekbench score that I did with the first beta of iOS 18.2. And then this one right here, iOS 18.2 beta 2. And as you can see, it improves here. And it also improved again on a second test that I've done on iOS 18.2 beta 2. And you can see the latest one, multi-core score at 7,367. Right here, you can see this is the first test we did. It actually has improved a lot. And we have basically the exact same score there on the single core score, but otherwise, using this on daily basis it's actually really really stable and you probably won't even notice that you have a beta installed on your iphone and now let's talk about the battery right here so taking a look at the last few days let's see how it performed so here we have the last few days this one right here at about 110 percent battery 10 hours 34 minutes here we have a bit more 140 percent battery 11 hours 14 minutes then we have here about again 120 percent battery 10 hours 29 minutes and right here we have about 140 percent battery 9 hours 14 minutes this again is a battery at about 90 percent battery health so we're currently at sitting at 91 so it's actually not that bad at all and here we have the last day that it did a bit worse so we have six hours 45 minutes with exactly 100 percent battery now of course based on what you're doing and how you're using your device the days will be different one from another but otherwise just in general it's actually quite good and then when you keep in mind that you have all the new like features the new ai features on ios 18.2 beta you have to expect that you will get maybe a bit less battery life out of your battery but it's actually still quite solid 
So what to expect next? Well, I would expect Apple to actually release the third beta as soon as tomorrow. I think it's the time for, for Apple to actually move on the weekly schedule, keeping in mind that we have a ton of new features, especially the new AI features, and we have some some features expecting to be released in the next two betas like the battery intelligence feature that is amazing that should be really good so i would expect apple again to move on a weekly schedule meaning that tomorrow we'll most likely get a new update for ios 18.2 that should be beta 3 and then from then on we should have beta 4 beta 5 beta 6 here and the rc version i would expect it to be on december the 9th if that happens, then of course we will get the release right here on December 16th. This is a schedule that I expect Apple to actually follow in order to release this update as we know that this update will actually be released in December before the holidays. This will be over. It will be released to the public. So I would expect it to be the, the, the 16th of December. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Of course, subscribe for more updates and more iOS 18.2 videos. And I will see you on the next one.